attackers love passwords and the security professionals hate them for their weakness and end users write them down share them or uh, use uh, weakness passwords that, that can be easily cracked or guessed uh, the surprise here is that the attackers do not have uh, to know uh, your passwords in clear text so they can uh, do the same damage by only knowing the password hash it's very exciting hi everyone i am riri wasim a security incident response engineer and this is uh, the first video in our course active directory attack series today uh, we will take a look at password hash attack uh, but first uh, we have to explain what is what mean what is mean by hash First, and uh, we explain the main word operations of uh, NTLM protocols and his disadvantages. And uh, finally, we jump in our demo, which show us how to exploit the weakness of uh, these protocols uh, to launch past the hash attack. First, uh, what is the hash? A hash is a one-way mathematical functions that create a string of characters that present an, an object, for example, files, picture, etc. Uh, the hash cannot be reversed. What do you mean by cannot be reversed? For example, if I want to encrypt a file for Mr. X, I take his public key and I encrypt the file, then Mr. X can decrypt it with his private key. Here is the here is the encryption is uh, reversed. Uh, but with the hash, I take a file, for example, and I run the hash functions, let me see, uh, 256, and I try to recover the hash file with the same uh, hash functions I can't, because the hash cannot be reversed. So, all passwords hash used are stored in the memory in the applications called LSAS. The abbreviations of LSAS is Local Security Authentication Services, LSAS.exe. Uh, so all passwords and TLM hash are stored in this, uh, in this area of memory. Uh, username also uh, stored in LSAS.exe in memory. Uh, there is uh, here I will explain uh, the authentication method with NTLM protocols. So uh, here if you log on to your machines, uh, log on ha with uh, your usernames, your logon hash uh, kept in elsas.exe. But uh, you must to be a local administrator to access and see uh, these programs. And I think in most of uh, uh, society, all users are local. Lo are all users are uh, local admin in their computer just to make things easy. Here. In here, in my opinions, uh, the conflict between ACE and security. Uh, be careful. I said user must be a local admin in their computer, in their machine, not uh, admin in the domain controller, on the whole domain controllers, or on the forest. So let me explain. Okay. So here I have four examples. Let me take the examples of Alice and Bob. So here I have users. His name is Alice. And this is the Elsas of Alice. Here I have the name. Here I have the password hash. For examples, I said say Alice. I said say Bob. This is the hash for Alice. And this is the password hash of Bob. Okay. Okay, for examples after I have here a file server and here I have sure my active directory my domain controller okay so here uh, Alice uh, need to get uh, some file uh, in the file servers so she sent a request so for example as he said I want to connect the file server to get those uh, file he sends a request I change the color uh, 
file server is part of the Active Directory. So he sent a challenge back. The challenge is a random 16 bytes. So he sent a challenge. So Alice sent a response here. Alice sent a response. But what do you mean by response? Response, uh, as I said, Alice sends a response to file servers, but the response is the challenge encrypted with the password hash. It's very important. So the response is the challenge encrypted by uh, the password hash, but is not by the passwords, but the, by the password hash. So here in the file servers, I have three things. One, I have the username, and I have the challenge and I have a response. So uh, the file server send all this information to active directory the response, the challenge, and the username. The file server connect to Active Directory because the Active Directory can verify and validate if Alice have uh, permission to access to these files. Uh, Active Directory has also a copy of all passwords hash and the ntds.dit, this is the database of Active Directory, and with uh, their usernames. So the domain controller take here the domain controller here the domain controller take the challenge and encrypt it with the password hash and compare and compare it with the response uh, that's why the file servers send the response i repeat the domain controllers take the challenge and i have you have here i said you have here a list of uh, usernames and password hash stored in their database. So the domain controller take the challenge and uh, encrypt it with the password hash. For example, here we have users Alice. I I give I put the password hash and I have the challenge. So password has password hash plus. Uh, uh, the password hash encrypted with the challenge uh, so and I compare it with the response to why the file server send I said the uh, response if there is some match in the response so the domain controller says okay you can access you can access Alice you can access all these folders if there is mismatch so he says block you can't access and you don't have the permission to access uh, to a file stored in the file server so here the hackers for example let me see here bro for hackers so this is in the devils so here the hackers uh, compromise the machines of Alice after that he tried to get for example here Bob he tried to get the Bob and TLM uh, hash because Bob is an admin domain uh, and uh, he can spread in the whole network that makes his uh, lateral movement so in this demo I use a tool called Mimikatz which is the number one for Bidens by all antivirus and Microsoft uh, because this tool is dump passwords from memory as well as hash uh, and username uh, let me open a command prompt and I put this command but first we will do some check my username here who am I my name is Wasim my domain is demo labs. I am a local admin in this computer. We will check that. Administrator tools, computer management, local users and the group, groups, administrators. Here, this is my account. I am only administ local administrators in this uh, computer. Uh, first, this is my domain controller. 
I will authenticate as, admin as administrators. Let me open the CMDs and this says AP configs 1.9.9.99. So here I will try to connect to this, uh, to, the, to, my, to, to the domain controllers. So I say it's 1.9.9. Share C. He says, give me your logins and your passwords. So here I will it say it's there. See, so I say it's access denied. I don't have the right to access. I uh, my only my right is is uh, uh, administrator or local administrators. So download new file. This is my Mimikatz. I run it as administrators as local admin. Here, uh, I uh, put the command privilege to point debug here I attach my tools mimicats to debuggers now I will type sec uh, SA local security group local security administrators to point logon passwords so uh, here we start to dump uh, hash in memory uh, for every account logged in this machine. All you see, uh, all you see uh, here in the screen, memory dump, uh, dump of uh, passwords in memory. So here, I have my accounts, seems and here I have the administrators. So. I am interesting to this NTLM. This is the NTLM. So uh, I uh, search other for other account. I see administrator. This is enough, but I will search other account if I found some other privileged account. Yes, yes. Okay, nothing. I found nothing. So now uh, I uh, will launch uh, the pass the hash attack. So here I do some copy. I open the block net and I write this command. Okay, so here, sec, here let's see, to point, pass the hash, so here, user, to point, administrator, the domain, I say it's demolab.local, and the ntlm, to point, and I will paste my NTLM. This is the whole command. Make it on style bold and in much size. So here we have the uh, sec LSA and they have, have attack by the hash. I put the user administrator. The domain is uh, demo labs. And here I put my NTLM, the NTLM of the administrators. I copy. I clean the uh, screen, I paste, edit, paste, okay. Uh, just we have some, okay, just here we put a double point, just I with a mistake, so here we have point Double point here. So, as as you can see, I have a new command prompt windows. Uh, let me 
put uh, let me put uh, both of windows next to each other uh, on the left side uh, running with uh, okay on the left side it's running uh, with my uh, local account and uh, on the right side with the admin account uh, as you can see i can uh, connect and uh, i try to connect and uh, to access so here we have oops Clean screen. I use the PS exec program to connect to my domain controller 99 cmd dot exe. Okay, I agree. So here it says access denied. So I will put the same command here. PS exec so cmd.exe here it takes some time okay yes so as you can see i connect and i access to my domain controller i establish a remote uh, sessions using admin uh, hash uh, password uh, so if i type the host name here this is my pc and here host name so this is the the name of my domain controller i will check fnb exactly and here i put the ip config command and the ip config command here 55 and here 99 so here access I uh, easily I can I can establish it a remote uh, sessions using uh, uh, admin uh, hash uh, password. So if I summarize the attack, an attacker is obtain uh, the password hash of one or more users on the computer network. Uh, two, using Mimikatz or other tools, uh, the attackers exploit the compromised uh, users, by well, usernames and password hash, to authenticate to other systems or resources that account has access uh, uh, access to. Uh, that is the basic of password hash attack and how attackers can use it to move uh, laterally in your uh, network. Uh, uh, finally, I hope you enjoy uh, with this video and I see you in the next attack. Thank you.